Hey guys, it's Heidi from Wyatt Bibliophile and I'm here with this week's In My Mailbox. Now, originally um, I didn't get anything in the mail this week, bookish, but so I decided that um, in an effort to motivate myself to get my apartment clean and to finally get my bookshelves organized, I would do a bookshelf tour instead. So um, I do have those videos on here as well. Um, if you're interested, you can read them really. It was more just to keep me accountable to finally, I've lived here like two months now and so it's like all right time to get the bookshelves organized so i did that but while i was doing that um i found a bunch of books that i was like okay i don't need these um because the shelves that i showed you are the only bookshelves that i have and i have decided at this point in my life if i have more books than fit on the shelves i have to get rid of them um so that's kind of what i do um yeah because i have an insane amount of books that i don't need so if i don't really 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 love a book um, I will often take it, I'll either give it away on my blog, donate it somewhere, or I take a bunch of them up to the Frugal Muse in Madison, which is a used and new bookstore, and um, they have really great prices on their new books, and they will order stuff for you, and they also have um, a really great collection of used books. So I took two bags of books up there, um, and of course I couldn't leave without getting some more books. But this is the thing, when I was doing my bookshelf tour, I discovered that I was missing some books um first in series that i really loved and also um i still had like a 60 dollars credit from before and then i got a 30 dollars credit from the ones i brought in um, and so i got a, a bunch of new audiobooks which are totally worth it so the one book that i did get in hardcover um i got a copy of the gray wolf throne i reviewed these on my blogs on my blog this summer or i, I guess earlier this fall um, and I did not yet have a copy of the Grey Wolf Throne, so I got that. Um, it's a brand new copy and it was nine bucks. So, and like I said, all of it was um, store credit, so I didn't actually pay any money. So I got that and um, pretty soon you will probably see me doing it in my mailbox with a hardcover copy of The Demon King, because I do not have that one in hardcover. I have it in paperback and I need the hardcover because they have the really cool map and papers. And because I have the Exiled Queen and the Grey Wolf Throne in hardcover, so clearly I can't have the Demon King in paperback. Um, so I got, that's the only like physical book that I got. The other three things I got were audiobooks. Um, and I mean, seriously, these, okay, this is, I'm not usually one to talk about price, but these are all brand new, like still in the wrapper. So I got Anna and the French Kiss, look at that. 1998, you see what it's supposed to be? $40, that's why I love that bookstore because these were all basically like half price. So yes, I have read this book. Um, and yes, I have it in hardcover and paperback, but um, they just had the audiobooks come out, so obviously I want to listen to it. So I got that audiobook. I also got, um, Chime by Franny Billingsley. This one was, <laughs> this one was nominated for an National Book Award. It really, really was. So I thought I had, I had the book, um, and I just, if I haven't read it by now, I'm probably not going to. So I got the audiobook, um, so I can listen to it. And it's one that I've been wanting to listen to. I just never got around to it. And then the last one I got, I'm super excited about, because I'm going to see her November 8th. Mastiff by Tamara Pierce. I am so, so, so excited for this, you guys, to go see her. Um, a, I've been waiting for this book for what seems like forever because I love this series. I love all of her books. Um, and I have um, Terrier and Bloodhound, and I pre-ordered this book from Anderson, so I have a signing ticket, so when I see her, I will have her sign the book, but I thought I will try and listen to this um, before. So yes, I spent $30 on the $60 audiobook, and I also bought the book. So when I'm done with this one, I will um, either give it away or I might just take it back to the, I might resell it to the place, who knows. But I do love her books. If you've never read anything by her, I highly, highly recommend reading it. Um, but this one is 16 compact disc. It's 20 and a half hours. So it's a bit of a commitment. Um, I typically listen to like, you know, the eight disc ones that are like 10 hours, 10 and a half hours. So this is about twice of what I normally listen to. But for her, I will, I will make that sacrifice. Um, the last bookish thing I got in the mail, I actually got today, so like I said, I didn't think I had anything in my mailbox, but today I did, um, and it is a YA Saves pin. I'm so excited about this. Um, I pre-ordered my copy of The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson from Books of Wonders, specifically because I wanted to get this pin with it, um, and the magnet scent, that was cool too, but the pin was what really, really drew me. I, I don't know why, but I just really, really wanted this. Um, so I pre-ordered it from Books of Wonder in... New York instead of somewhere local um, plus it's signed which is awesome but um, when I got it I got two magnet scents and I didn't get the pin so um, Disney 
E, -E I, will, I will link to her Twitter account. Um, she sent it to me. Um, and I know that's not her real name, but I don't know if she really wants me to say it on my blog, so I won't. But anyway, um, she was so awesome and sent me her pin, and I'm really, really happy about that. So thank you so much. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it. I will leave you with this video, and if you are so inclined, you can watch my bookshelf tours as well. I probably ramble. I haven't even watched what I filmed yet on those, so who knows. But I hope you have a great week, and I will be back again next week. Bye.